Hello and welcome to the Ford Fiesta Mark 7 front lower grill removal and reinstallation guide. Here I'll show you how I removed the standard grill on my Ford Fiesta ZTEC S and replaced it with that used on the Asian and Australian markets. Now obviously step one is to remove the existing grill from the car. To do this I usually start in one corner, place my fingers through the holes on the front of the grill and my thumbs on the bodywork of the car. Using a reasonable amount of force I'll then work my way all the way around the edge until I've completely removed the grill. Now it probably looks quite easy in the video there but that's purely because my grill has been on and off a few times. The first time you come to do this you may find that it does require additional force to get that grill removed. The only thing I can say to reassure you is it's a lot stronger than it looks so don't be afraid of breaking anything. Now I usually find it easier to start with the bottom edge first. So looking at the photo here, you'll notice a row of slots along your bumper that I've highlighted in dark blue, and also a row of hooks, which I've highlighted in light blue. Looking at the replacement grille here, I've got a row of tabs, which I've highlighted in dark blue, and a lip, which I've highlighted in light blue. The idea is to get the tabs into the slots and the hook over the lip. Here I have included some close-up photos of the slots and the hooks, so feel free to pause the video at any point um, just to use as a reference to compare to your own vehicle. Now once you've got your tabs lined up with the slots and your hooks lined up with your lip, you need to go about pushing the grill back and locking it into place. To do this, I've found there's three main pressure points along the bottom that I've highlighted here in purple. These need to be pushed down while you're pushing back just to get that hook over the lip. Also, to make note, when you're pushing it in the sides, make sure your fingers aren't pushing down on those bars inside the inserts as they will snap. You need to make sure your fingers are on the bottom edge of the grill. Now it's a pretty similar story up top. You've got a row of hooks that you need to get a lip over, and I think there's four tabs as well that you need to line up. My best advice is to get the tabs all lined up first and then go about pushing it back into place. And you need to be lifting the grill up to get over those hooks as you slot it back in. Once everything is all in place, you're happy to push it back in, you'll feel it click, just go around the outer edge until you work your way all the way around, and make sure everything is firmly in. Now that should be you all done. Obviously if you have any questions, such as where to buy the grill, feel free to contact me at the address on screen, and thank you very much for watching.